Hello friends, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use color lookup table in Darktable. So let's get into it. So if you do not find the color lookup table under any of this menu, you simply search color lookup here in the menu bar and here it is. So as soon as we open this color lookup table per set, we get this standard color palette. However, we can change it into any other color palettes. To do that, right click in the parset area and then we have different um, color palettes like Fuji STA emulation, Fuji classic chroma emulation. So you can use any of this so that you have more color and you can adjust them separately. Or we can use any of these parsets as we need. But for now, I'm going to return to the um, standard color palette. So friends, as you can see in this picture, I have already made a few changes here. So for example, in this picture, it is noticeable that um, this picture has more a blue effect. So that thing can be fixed uh, quite easily. So simply we can select the dark blue area or light blue or even relatively light blue um area and then we can increase or decrease the light as we want we can then adjust the blue now it looks i guess relatively natural and then we also can adjust the saturation as we want and if we notice that any of the color from this image is missing in that case we can use the color picker so to do that we place the color picker wherever we want and then we hold shift key and click here so as you can see the color has been changed into light green so now we can adjust this separately. And as you can see here, this orange color, it looks much brighter compared to other colors here. So we also can change it to lighter orange or we can decrease the saturation or lightness of this particular color. So to do that, we again, we use color picker we point it here and just and then we decrease the saturation a bit yep and also decrease the light a bit looks better now I guess yeah, so this is how we can work selectively on colors um, using color lookup table. And here target color could be relative or absolute. I would rather recommend to go with relative. And as usually we can use mask also uh, to work selectively on colors. Um, and it is pretty much the same as we use the mask with other persons. So friends, this is pretty much about the color lookup table it's very simple but i think it is quite important uh, for editing it helps us a lot to modify uh, the image um, quite fast and in an effective way so i hope this tutorial will help you thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye